Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects and Element 3D. Let's get started. So, go to Project and right mouse, Import, File. Select this Hyundai Photoshop file. Go to Import As and change Composition Return Light Size. Click OK. Again, click OK and select this composition change name car and move to inside our composition and height then right mouse new and solid add name background click ok move to back this car composition go to effect presets source effect gradient ramp select this gradient ramp use for background and end color select this blue and start color light blue click ok change ramp shape radial ramp and let's move to down these pins ok change scatter 100 and go to end color let's change like this click ok so background not bad let's lock background and let's create new solid add name background objects click ok then go to effects presets source effect cc balls select this cc ball actions use for this solid move to back and click toggle switch modes change normal to multiply Okay, nice. We can change here grid spacing. Let's change to. Okay, nice. So lock again these background objects and let's create new solid again. Add name element 3D. Click OK. Go to FX, video copilot and element. Then go to text and click here. Let's write by and click selection tool and hide text move to back select this element 3d let's open custom layers and custom text add mask let's open and part one change non to this text by let's close go to scene setup and click extrude okay nice let's change bevel scale okay and let's go to presets open physicals and use this flat color okay let's open material and let's change diffuse okay change one not bad let's open diffuse color click ok nice let's click ok and go to group one open here for create controller let's create and select this null object let's press air ok nice so let's go to window open animation composer 3 and open starter pack open here let's use overshot scale and select our controller null object click in let's close and let's select this move to right let's see okay then move to down and let's see and select this controller press air make x and y rotations select this move to right let's see and change rotation like this like this then go to here change rotation like this and select this keyframes. frames move to left select keyframes. frames make easy let's see okay select keyframes. frames move to right and select this let's change rotation 
say keyframe to move to left again and go to here change rotation like this okay select this rotation keyframes move to right go to graph editor and uh, let's select this graph move to left for smooth animation and back to keyframes select this keyframes move to right nice let's select this and move to down and select this keyframe change rotation like this okay not bad so go to here and select this null hold shift press p make new position keyframe and go to here let's change position like this and go to here again make y rotation and x rotation go to here and change rotation like this and like this select this position keyframes make easy let's see okay select keyframes move to right and go to graph editor select this graph move to left let's see let's move to right these keyframes and in this time let's let's move to back and change rotation like this and this let's see okay select keyframes move to left go to graph editor and let's select these graphs move to left and this like this okay let's move to right these shape frames go to graph editor again and select this and this let's see okay and let's select this x rotation keyframe change rotation like this okay and again select this controller hold shift press s make scale keyframe go to here and change scale zero let's see select keyframes make easy go to graph editor select this graph and make smooth let's select this scale keyframe move to left so let's close settings and select this car composition let's unsolo and press s change scale and move to here this composition And press S, change scale, and go to here, make scale keyframe, frame, and go to first second, change scale zero. Select keyframes, frames, make easy. Move to left. Okay, and select this car, hold shift, press P, and go to here move to up select keyframes make easy let's see select these keyframes move to left okay select these keyframes move to left again let's select these two keyframes and move to here go to graph editor select this graph move to left and this move to left okay and go to here open car composition select this body press p and make new position keyframe go to 10k frame move to down again go to 10k frame move to up 
select keyframes make easy let's see let's back to here and in this time select keyframes move to left hold alt move to left let's see okay and go to here and go to here move to down go to here again move to up let's see let's see here okay go to first second select this hold she press air and make new rotation keyframe go to this keyframe change rotation minus two go to here change plus two again minus one go to here change zero select rotation keyframes make easy let's see back to car okay let's select this rotation change minus one go to here change plus one and go to here again change minus zero that five go to here and zero okay let's see so in this time select this keyframe move to here and select this last keyframe move to up and go to here first position keyframe move to up let's see okay and go to here select this last position keyframe this text and move to up let's see okay select this first position keyframe move to up again move to left Okay, let's select this car, move to up this element 3D solid and in this time select this scale keyframe, move to left. Okay, not bad. Let's go to shapes, select ellipse tool and make one ellipse. Go to fill, change color dark, click OK. Go to FX presets, search effect Gaussian blur. Let's use this Gaussian and change Gaussian like this. Press T, change opacity. Let's click this icon for close motion blur and select this shadow, change name shadow. Move to back this car. Press R, change rotation like this and let's go to here go to edit split layer and select this delete select the shadow press s make scale keyframe. frame move to right and change scale zero let's see let's select keyframes frames make easy and go to graph editor select this graph move to left okay go to here Select this shadow, hold shift, press T, change 0, make opacity keyframe, go to here, change 100, make keyframes easy, let's see, move to right these opacity keyframes, nice, so animation not bad, and we have problem with car PS file, like this, and let's open car, click this and we can see here these problems like this not quality cut so let's solve it go to fx preset search effect matte choker select this matte choker let's use for this car body nice problem is solved okay let's back to here so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck